Well, hello there, my fellow miners and crafters. Good times. Let's go here, bringing you another Super Wrestling Minecraft episode where we are working in the Scarland Fishing Cabin Project on our fish storage room. So, in today's episode, we're going to be building a fish freezer storage room with boxes for all types of different fish and all sorts of other great stuff. So, let's get this episode underway. And welcome back, and it's good to have you here down in the Crystal Cave, once again attached to our boathouse. And yeah, so in the last few episodes, we've been working on the Crystal Cave and getting the uh, automatic boat launch and retrieval set up. And um, yeah, so this thing is really starting to come together. And here will be our storage area where we have our uh, cold fish storage room over there. And in this room was the one that we weren't quite sure what we wanted to do with and um, kind of let that open to you guys. And you came back with some awesome suggestions in our last video. So what we're going to do is kind of combine a couple ideas and it'll be kind of a fishing pole showcase room plus kind of boat work area. So we'll kind of have a little workshop for our boat building and maintaining and different things like that. I think it'll look really nice and it, it'll definitely have some style. And I just wanted to run that by you guys, make sure that's all right with you. And uh, so give me a yes or no on that. So what we'll have is, you know, some uh, boat showcasing kind of boats all ready to go kind of lined up there. And then we'll have some over here, some, uh, workshop areas where we build boats and different things like that and then on the far wall will be fishing poles all kind of having kind of a display type case that they're all kind of sitting on and i think it'll look really awesome so definitely let me know if you guys like that design idea and um yeah so we're gonna work over here today and we're just gonna start to work on the front end here real quick so we'll just bring that up like so and we'll go over here and bring that on over there. So like I said, over here will be our fish storage area. So we'll have, um, this area will have a lot of snow and ice and different things like that. So it'll be pretty darn cool. All right, so I'm just going to go right over here and I'm gonna bring that down and I'm gonna bring that across. There we go, looking pretty awesome so far. Let's see here. So right here, we're gonna do kind of a cool design. Let's put this right there and we'll put that right there too. And then we'll come into here and carve out that and then add some quartz on the back end here. So we're kind of going for a freezer look. So using some of the uh, the whiter kind of snowish colors and using the cyan um, color as kind of like a steel kind of a industrial color. So I think that'll be pretty cool. There we go. Put that like that uh, shells. This stone here, we'll clean that up once we get to our finishing phase. There we go. And, you know, it's a little bit high, but... I don't know, there's a few few small touches I want to change about this, but for the most part, it's pretty good. So let's just keep rolling. There we go. Get that down like so. And let's get out a little door. So this will be just a little door that is is open. So we'll open it like that. Curve the glass around like so. Actually, let's hook it up there. And there, perfect, so that's good. Next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take out our item frames and we're gonna place them in between here. And, oh, no, not right there, Scott, right there. This stone and this stone, I'm gonna readdress that in a moment, but for the most part, there we go. In the center right here, we're going to do a fish preparation table. We'll do that at the end of the video. I'm gonna put some fish in here as a decoration. I think that'll look pretty cool. We might, later on, we may, I'm not sure yet, but we might replace that with the new banners. Once they're finally, uh, get that all implemented into Scarland, I'm definitely going to do that because those banners. So if you don't know, Minecraft has added these um, kind of like flag banner things into the game, or at least into the snapshots, which will eventually lead into 1.8, the newest release for the PC version. So it is really, really cool, the new uh, items that we have coming from 1.8. I'm, I'm really excited for the future of Minecraft. I think we've got some really nice things and some performance gains that we recently received that, uh, make Minecraft a much, much better game. You know, it's got a really great um, back end now that will help, at least with a lot of lag problems that people have had. There we go, especially me. <laughs> so there we go. Now that I have a, a decent computer now, so I at least have a little bit easier time, but right now I'm still on my old computer because my new computer is still acting up. All right, actually I'm gonna go like that. There we go. And I'm gonna replace you with that. There we go. Nice, nice. So some of these things like the stone needs to be replaced under there. I'll get to that in our finishing phase. All right, good, I like that. You know what, I don't know if I'm gonna go out any farther that way. I think I'm good at this way, you know. Yeah, I like that better. So kind of the philosophy behind this is to have 
the chest kind of hidden, not like an Indiana Jones theme kind of thing where we put the chests on like, you know, rails across there and stuff like that. Try to have it a little bit hidden, just trying to do something a little bit different, you know, not have the uh, chest be so obtrusive. So let me know what you guys think of that idea a little bit. It's a little different than our previous, you know, storage rooms that we've uh, built in the uh, mother tree in different places like that. There we go. Let me just go back in here. Let me just carve out that. There we go. So what kind of uh, banners have you guys created for your worlds? Now, one of the original things I was thinking of was people who do the uh, the factions gameplay, they're gonna love that because they'll have their own like factions flag. And uh, a subscriber mentioned in that uh, video that I made this week about how to make them and how to do the different things. I'll put an annotation on the screen if you missed it. Um, a subscriber mentioned Scarland needs its own flag. And I was like, that's an excellent idea. We definitely need our own Scarland flag built out of the uh, the banners. I think that'll look really cool. All right, now it's decisions time. It's that decision time again. So I'm gonna go like this. There we go. And I wanna get your guys' opinion, all right? So we got two opinions here. We have A, milk chocolate, and we got B, dark chocolate. So what do you guys like better in the design? Which color do you think matches the room design a little bit better? The milk chocolate, A, or the dark chocolate, B? So definitely let me know, and I'm just going to take a quick break, kind of catch my breath, and I'll be right back. All right, and welcome back. So did you guys tell me which one you like better? The dark chocolate or the milk chocolate? Because I want to know. I want to get you guys' opinion on that. So I just dropped off my dirt and I needed more of it because I was tired of using my smooth stone. Oh, Scar, you and your mistakes. There we go. It's always good to have a little extra dirt so you don't have to waste your good blocks. All right, so just kind of getting this all settled up a little bit here. There we go, perfect. That across there like so. Nice, there we go. So let's do that on this side, wasting our smooth stone again, Scar. There we go, get that across there, and then go down here and run this up the side. So for the most part, I think we've got kind of a cool little uh, freezer room set up so far. I think this uh, has a believable aspect to it. There we go. And let's see, we're gonna run you up this side like so. There we go. Perfect, perfect, yeah, yeah, good, 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 good. Okay, so now we're gonna go that's a good question. I'm trying to decide where I want to go from here. I think on this side, we'll do the Nemo fish and the puffer fish. I think that's where their storage containers are going to go for there. Okay, but uh, we'll start working over here a little bit. Put that up there like that. And yeah, I think that's good. So we'll start getting these pieces in here. We're going to have to get rid of that torch because that's going to cause a problem. And we'll just run that up like so. There we go. So this kind of goes, this design here is a little bit philosophy behind my want, my want for very long that Minecraft's food spoils. I just think it would add a really cool aspect to survival if we have to be slightly concerned that our food is going to wear out. It just gives us a little something to keep in the mind, you know, you know, we're worried about creepers once in a while coming up behind us but I think it would be really cool if we had to be a little bit concerned when it comes to our food. And um, I, I'm leaning towards the dark chocolate a little bit. You know, that's kind of where I'm leaning towards on the little designed uh, choice here. So um, hopefully you guys give me some uh, more insight on what you guys like. But I like bringing you guys into the design. You know, I like giving you guys an A or a B choice and stuff. I think, I think that's good, isn't it? Do you guys like that? Do you think, because I want you to have a, you know, a say, we're all building this together and I think that's a good way of, um, you know, uh, let everybody get a chance to kind of come with a cool design or two. I like this, this is kind of nice. You know, it's got a little bit of like a shelving here, but I'm thinking this corner here, we'll just slip back a little bit of that in there. Yeah, yeah, that looks nice, I like that. So we'll just go back in here. It's subtle and you know, maybe it's a waste of, uh, of hardened clay in a survival world for only showing just those two little blocks, but I think that adds a lot. And this is like a neat little shelf above there. All right, so I'm gonna cut that out there. And I think I'm going to go with the dark chocolate on this, you know. I think for now, for the, at least the finishing of the build, and then I'll get your opinion at the end of the video. Once I, once the video goes live, then I can kind of see what you guys think. But I think for the video, we're gonna do it in dark chocolate. There we go, cut that out. And, oh, no, 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 Scar and his block placements. When will he ever learn, when will he ever learn? 
There we go. Yeah, I like that. See how the uh, the ice is kind of keeping the fish, you know, cold in their chest, looking mighty fine. All right, so let's get out our designating signs. So we're just going to place them along here. There we go. Place another one right there. Nice, nice, perfect, perfect. I'm liking the way we're going here. So once again, got to take my uh, little breath break here for one second, and I'll be right back. All right, welcome back. I love looking through the. Uh, the window here this giant picture window that we built kind of looking into the kitchen and the dining room and stuff i always like doing i feel like a little like creeper like looking in like what's going on in there anything for me to blow up <laughs> all right so let's head on down to the little uh fishing storage room area there we go so making our way so i had to go get some uh, extra wool carpet because as usual i always miscount my uh, carpet uh always miscount all right, so what I did in the meantime here real quick while I was catching my breath also was I started the uh, ceiling a little bit so you can see how the, uh, the snow kind of dripping down will add some uh, ice and things like that to kind of jazz that up just a bit more. All right, I'm going to go like that, close up that, grab out this, and try to find a good spot to set it in there. There we go. Perfect. And we'll grab the dark spruce. There we go. And we'll fly up here. Perfect. Look at us go. We are on a roll. We are on a groove. We have gotten a groove. There we go. Perfect. Oh, I have a jelly cat hair in my mouth. That's that's wonderful. That's wonderful. All right. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. I don't want it to destroy my eyes. There we go. Perfect. Nice. All right. We have gotten some really good progress on this uh, on this room today. We've gotten we've gotten a lot built today so far. Pretty darn awesome. Okay, good, we got that done. I'm gonna need to grab out you and you. Perfect, perfect. Okay, so I'm going to decide here where I want to place this. I guess I'm gonna place them right here. All right, uh, maybe I will remove these um, blocks so we can continue the design we've gotten the rest of the way. Or we could go like this. Let's try something a little different maybe. We could add this like little extra piece up here. If I actually add a little bit of light, maybe we could actually see what we're doing there. Um, I, I wonder what could we put in that back little hole there? I like that, but I don't know what to put back there. It was like a little uh, little design accident there. I was like, oh, that's actually pretty cool. It's like, a, like Bob Ross once said, oh, a happy little accident. <laughs> oh, I love Bob Ross. All right. Um, yeah, I don't know. We're gonna put something back there that, that that'll look cool. You know, that looks kind of boring. So, not sure. But I'm gonna put something back there, like a cool block that kind of looks neat back there. I'm not sure what I want to do, but I really like that. Okay. Um, let's see. We need to put item frames here and here. But for the most part, we've got that complete. So let's finish our ceiling. So we'll just uh, scaffold on up. There we go. And let's just finish off this stack here. There we go. Bring that across there. And let's see. Grab out our last set of snow here. There we go. I love making freezer rooms because it, it all goes back to my want to make the, the food, the food decay. I think it'd be pretty cool. I think it'd be pretty cool. Someday, like, a, like you know what my dreams is? To just have, like, one person, you know, like, that makes Minecraft watch one of my videos. I think that would be so cool. To know that maybe like one time like a like a Mojang you know employee watched one of my videos that'd be like that'd be like the coolest thing if they watched it and they're like yeah that's a good idea Scar <laughs> and the likelihood of any of them ever watching my videos is slim to none but it would be super cool if they did okay um let's see here let's put let's do some ice let's do a little bit of ice in this section right here I think that'd be cool. So it looks kind of like it's kind of dripping down, you know, from there. I think that'd be pretty cool. We don't want to get too close to that torch because I don't want it to, I don't want it to interfere because we need to work on our lighting a little bit more than we have. There we go. Let's put that right there. Nice. Nice. That, that, looks, that looks cool. That looks great. And then um, we could put that right there. Kind of cool. Put this over there. Yeah, just kind of if you're doing a, you know something similar here, just kind of play around, see where see where it uh, looks cool. But um, yeah, you got kind of a nice little ceiling that's dripping ice, and um, pretty cool, pretty darn awesome. All right, so we still have a few more touches in there to finish, but um, let's head out here to finish our last piece here. We're gonna put our cauldron in the direct center. There we go. I think that's the direct center. It's close enough. And then we're gonna grab out this, and we're gonna go like that. 
and we're gonna go like that. So if you wonder why this is a solid block, it's because of my texture pack. I've just removed the line that happens when these blocks come together. So you know, like it's like that, but see how it's, you know, it still has that line there, but I like it that way. And I wish that they would actually change that so it's like that for everybody in the default texture pack. There we go. So this is our uh, fish preparation table. All right, and I'm gonna go like this. There we go. So this is kind of where you clean up the fish, you know, get that all kind of sorted out. You know, there's there's always just a bit of, you know, there's, there's a little bit of blood, you know? It's the way it is, it's the way it is. So I'm thinking about doing a piston door to go into our little room over there, and I need some cups. There we go. Hey, give me those cups. There we go. Um, we can get rid of you, we can get rid of you. Um, I can eat later. Uh, I'll keep that with me, but I do need these fish. I do need those fish. Okay, sweet. All right, so we've almost got everything complete here. Put those guys over there. So now we've got our fish preparation table all set up and ready to go. Put that there. Open you up. Give me that and that. Delicious fish. Yeah, it's not like I haven't caught a hundred fish before. <laughs> Oh, I like it when those things get reset and it's like taking inventory in Scarland and it's like, yeah, my first time, first time catching, getting, uh, getting wood. Yeah, that's my first time. It's just like, come on. <laughs> it always makes me laugh. All right. Hey, yo, there you go. There we go. So these are the, the, um, let's see, this is the cooked, this is the cooked box. There we go. And this is the raw box, there we go. But isn't that pretty cool how you can't see the box below? You know, you gotta actually go up to it to open it so it's not so obtrusive. I think that's pretty cool. All right, well there we go. We just need to get some uh, item frames for over there and let me do a few finishing touches and then we'll be all wrapped up. All right, and welcome back and taking a look at our progress for today's episode. Look at that, we've got our fish preparation table to clean and prepare our fish. Then we go in there and store them or cook them over there. Definitely pretty cool. We've got these little guys now in their frames. Now we can kind of adjust them however we feel we want to put them on here. Maybe it'll something a little different like that. And let's head on inside of our uh, freezer room. We've got our cold ice dripping from the ceilings and uh, we put a little ice down in the floor. Put up some additional snow in here to make it look like it's kind of, you know, frosted and different things like that. I put some, uh, some torches deep under these chests about three or four blocks down so it didn't interfere with the ice and um, so you could see a bit of glow coming from there so i think that looks pretty cool and i put some chisel blocks behind there still haven't found the perfect block for our little decoration but i think that looks pretty nice for now and um yeah so once we get some fish for our from our uh you know our boats and different things like that we can put them in there and definitely pretty cool and well guys this has been Good times with Scar. I always really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch my videos. And if you believe the video deserved a rating, that would be much appreciated. And until next time, we'll see you later. And don't forget to follow me on Facebook and Twitter. I think we could use a little bit more balance by putting one maybe over here. But I think that's pretty good. Let's see if we can get something on the back end here. And then we'll do our floor. So we'll come back here. Oh yeah, this area needs just a bit more jazz and up. So we'll grab out uh, end of sight. There we go. And we'll just fill in this section.